Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is The Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Yeah, this was highly requested over the years on my YouTube and also my Patreon. So thank you to everybody that recommended it, because I love this series. It's so cute, it's so wholesome, and it's such a change of pace from what I've been doing lately. <laughs> I needed a, a cute little break. Case number three, Corruption at Cowboy County. In this exciting series finale, the detective and lobster cop are tasked to solve the conundrum of a sheriffless county. But not all is as it seems here, when a surprisingly simple solution to the case reveals a sinister scheme. Maybe crime is real after all. Wait, <laughs> do, they, do they think the crime isn't real? It's just misunderstandings or something? Huh. Yeah, and I guess Lobster Cop is going to help us this time. Sick. Let's do it. I love this silly little game. Uh, she was the singing rhino from the last episode. Okay, so I think her voice that I gave her was, <clears throat> Hey, it's me. No, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you. Solve the case of the invisible wizard. A mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know. Okay, so let's see, or let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. <laughs> so wait, am I playing as her? Yeah, so over here we have our little parade. So you can actually see Mary back there. And then here's the first case. Never saw what this was. This might be from a separate game. Ah, my notebook. I love that notebook. I worked so hard on it. Frog detective? Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the frog detective. No, wait, the frog, the detective frog. Uh, oh, uh, hey gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship. <laughs> but you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager almost. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha! -ha. It's my job to solve mysteries. Ha ha, obviously. I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay. <laughs> so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Ah, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there. It'll take you on a little trip. Cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. I like saying that. Okay. Yonk. <laughs> Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. I love her. I also could have given her like a valley girl voice. Like, yeah. I'm the frog detective. Later, babes. Yeah. Let's check this bad boy out. I love that it actually kept my notebook from the previous game. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station, and it's all so cool, like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It has to be that sneaky guy from the second game that was hiding behind the zebra's store. 
It's so messed up. Actually, te actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Cute. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Would you love me if I was a worm and drove a train? Ah, oh, what a rootin' tootin' cowboy. There's meant to be cowboy boots, I assume. No! Come back. Uh. Please tell me you get to ride a scooter. Please, have I, I've been a good boy. Can I ride the scooter? Hello, this is Frog Detective from De Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote about it in his blog. Okay. Well... If you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you! As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is a vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. Oh, is it a horse? <gasps> it's the scooter. What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of our society. It's true. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up you would even say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What'd you order then? A scooter, of course. Oh my god. Sick. It should be near the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready to pick, or when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to follow the path to meet him and have fun. Hope you have fun too. I will. All right, see ya. Cute. Yes. Sick. My very own scooter. Sick. Got a scooter. Okay. Uh, hop on with shift. Oh, I love this. There we go. Want to get rid of the instructions. Uh, adorable. Ah! Let me get a good picture of him. Kind of sideways. Oh my god, I love this. All right. <sighs> I'm a frog on a scooter, y'all. A frog detective on a scooter. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you let me if I was a worm club?
Look at him go. Yes. Starting, wait. I'm not starting Lobster Cop. Susie Rabbit. Oh. Sherman and the Bandits. Oh. Is that a sloth? I like how I'm, I'm part of the supporting cast. You, you're the, you're the notebook thief. Oh my god, I love this. Cute, cute, cute. Get my peepers ready. Do I have that feeling of like your eyelashes being stuck together? Wee! Wah! Whoa! Yaha! Wah! Wah! Yaha! Yeha! Hey, Lobster Cop. I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, Detective. I know it worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Oh. This town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff? Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, could you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway. I've lost where I was going with this. You said there, you said there was something missing. Right. There was something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that, for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for a cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here. To facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. As it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new Sheriff, Cowboy County... Sheriff Mason Mole. You can even tell by his hands, he's the, he's the notebook stealer. Wow, congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, guess I'll head back to the office. No. Uh. No. No. <clears throat> no. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Why, mystery? Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All hats in town have been stolen. Please solve the mystery as soon as possible. You have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you.
I didn't know was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> he likes hiding behind things. <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure. But how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. <coughs> oh, that, <coughs> that hmm got me. I'll handle the motive and suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that can lead us to a clue, and lastly, and not to mention the most importantly, a meal for number one best detective. Uh, meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I'm a very hungry boy. <laughs> we'll need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea, if you'd like them. No! I need a proper meal! I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, Lobster Cop. I don't need it. Good luck, Detective. This fucking guy. So he's actually making me solve the entire thing. That's a good ass notebook. Case three. Mystery of the missing hats. Lobster cop. Motive. There's no possible motive for lobster cop to do this. Needs. Crime scene map, criminal tool, key, meal. Hey, it's lobster cop. Number one best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. So I have magnifier, notebook, and a scooter. I love the scooter. Holy shit. Yaha! What? Huh? Hello. Oh, look at this big tarantula. I've only seen one of them in real life. Like, in the wild. Before. I was swimming at a friend's house when I lived in Texas. And they lived on, like, the west side of Austin. Where it's kind of mountainous. And this big ol' tarantula was crawling around by the pool. Soaking up some sun. It was scary. I didn't, like, but they're, they're, they're good boys. I didn't fuck with them. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to do, to doing any favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I, you're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break in this bank. I will not. Huh? Dude, y'all agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. So now you're changing the story? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Pissy little rabbit. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on group promises. I'm going to have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. <laughs> Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Bit being nosy is my job. Fine. 
I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help? Typical. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. Heard all these banks are booby trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have pieces of evidence that is vital to the missing hats here. The ha missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Okay. <laughs> ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. I had it had big letters on top of that said, "Wait." It had big letters on the top that said, "Crime map. Eat after reading." I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? So let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? <laughs> what? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm going to be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great. So it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes. Thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? About the vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? <laughs> it was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guy to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? No, not really. Listen, if you can help me get in my vault, it's all yours. Does that sound like a good idea? Or sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Might if I ask you some questions? Boop. So she wants a fake ID. Got it. Susie. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes. Short stature. Shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Hmm. I like her. I like the pissy rabbit. <gasps> I love this guy. What a handsome cow. I guess he's a bull since he has, he has horns. Craig. If you're here to see the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. Or here from the Evil Secret Society. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah? Where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve the mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. I like his nose is just his big smiley face. That's so fucking cute. <laughs> Do you have any identification? No, I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. 
But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. <laughs> <laughs> They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait. I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you keen on Ghost, Spot on Ghost Spotter? Are you a keen Ghost Spotter? There we go. Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the league, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Everybody here is just so cunty. I love it. Sorry. No. I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. The Ghost Spotter League. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of ghost like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos. I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which one or which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so it looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has ghosts in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure. If I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Secret societies. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats? Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. <laughs> I barely scratched the surface of what's there, or what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've been, everything you've ever done. It's all dictated by secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Oh, God. But he also thinks the earth is flat and shit. <sighs> is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. The secret societies run everything. Craig, I don't think that's true. Oh, yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? 
none, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more of a lack, a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. Bye. <laughs> so now we have Craig. Motive. Want a membership to the uh, secret hat stealing society? No, he didn't. Needs. Uh, definitive proof of ghosts. Uh, either conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise. Drat. Just wants to be part of something. Cute. Would you love me if I was a worm that worked in the post office? Let's see. You. You stole my notebook. Just random red lines connecting everybody. So, does the bear know the mouse and the cat? But the mouse knows whatever the fuck this thing is? And the panda? Wait, no. They know them as well and them. How is the cow linked to the cat and the sloth? <gasps> Look at this little guy! Gloves. <clears throat> oh, these could come in handy. <laughs> Get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. Yes, yeah, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. So he said they're evidence, but it likes me to take them? Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how'd you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before. Before you became the sheriff, did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, oh okay, see ya. <laughs> this guy's a little thief. Mason Mole. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs? To be left alone, it seems. A fellow a few words. Previous job? Helped out. Hmm. Wonder what's behind the curtain. Is it hats? Hello. Look at this guy! Cute. Hey, you have a notebook too. Wendy? Uh, Good afternoon! Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time we don't stock any gear for detective work. 
I don't need anything. Oh! Um... Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need any specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer customers a satisfaction guaranteed in all purchases. What is a satisfaction guaranteed? We can guarantee that you will either be satisfied or dissatisfied <laughs> with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So, can I get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only covers a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If you're feeling, if you're feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears it up. Thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cobar County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you had said that in the first place. I feel I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. Been embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. Hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You mean like an old hand? You seem like an old hand at it. Ha, that's great. I'm not at all. I've let me run the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. So, you just started running the shop? How's it all going? We sure could say I'm nailing it, but honestly, doesn't feel like the uh, doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there's one thing. What is it? See these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created for them. Except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. <laughs> it's, a uh, it's a nice photo. Yeah, sure. But it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. <laughs> okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. So now we got a picture of the shop owner. Can I ask you some questions? Bye. So gloves and bear pick. <laughs> it's not the kind of pictures of bears I like. Wendy. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town? The perfect crime. Needs? Her portrait painted. Notes? Seven months in the biz. Rehearsed and, wait, rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm not carrying around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird. Especially not me. All right, bye, Wendy. So there's a well out there. 
graveyard, and then the mine. <laughs> Rhonda Dynamite. Cute. <clears throat> they come from far and wide to see the... To, wait. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to battle. I do not have a weapon. I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You in the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. <laughs> I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. We, you literally just met me. I don't get, don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. <laughs> the detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live. Cause how else are they gonna know where you <laughs> how else are they gonna know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then. Just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave it to you. Or leave you to it. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm gonna join have some company. So what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was just filled before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't give the job to any just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. Got that tumbleweed right in my face. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem you need solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow. You sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You can always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case I'm working on? About being sheriff. How do you intend to become sheriff? By force. I will simply beat up Mason Moe. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. Rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Moe ever do to you? I don't know. He's shifty. I just don't trust his face. Please, don't take this role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah. That'd be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. That's fun though. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get your writing supplies. Just don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Hmm, what if I can go back to the general store and get some paper? <coughs> what kind of work do you do? Well, detective. I'd love to tell you, but I need to know that I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about telling or me telling on you, I won't. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Okay, well then. <laughs> well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Oh, I get the fake ID. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff, though. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. 
Could you forge a certificate saying I'm number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Mind if I question you about the case? So, I probably need to give them the writing supplies. Then they can do the fake ID. That'll give me the map. Let's see, Rhonda Dynamite. Motive. I also don't think she would need a motive to steal hats. Just a hunch, though. Needs. To write a resume and learn some nonviolent conflict resolution skills. <laughs> Notes. Wants to fight me. No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. That was my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. Oh. Hmm. Let's go back to the general store. I wonder if I can ask for some paper. Nothing right now. All right. Hmm. There's Lobster Cop. Uh, let's go in the saloon. Would you let me if I was a worm that played piano? <laughs> Are you a bat? <gasps> and you're a painter. Pistol. <laughs> uh, I'm running out of voices to do. Uh, well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being on it, or if we're being generous. 45 minutes if we're speedy. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many, many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's not, it's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's a, uh, well, you see, it's clearly, uh. I keep pinching my beard. Oh, my kitten detective. I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to this strange website. What'd the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You're right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. I made a loud, it made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, you just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did, this, when did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have a specific cur uh, specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours, and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything like that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask some questions? Go ahead. So that's about the curse. So we send him to the store. Wait, can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I just wanted to see a video of a buff worm, and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the right side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the thousandth visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. What? Really? 
Yeah, yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax. How else am I going to get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I want 100,000 money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow. I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. A muse. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing's too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work on finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. So actually, here you go. Here's a bear pick. I found a photograph for you to paint. <clears throat> oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably just a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm going to paint it immediately. Cute. Aww. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah. Or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy to got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we can turn this in. Ugh. Need to adjust how I'm sitting. Maybe hats are hard to paint. That's the motive for pistol. Needs, a muse, and some internet safety lessons. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. Adorable. Let's go turn this in to Wendy. So, you're not going to believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo, and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure. I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol's so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting me this portrait. Or getting the portrait for me, detective. It's no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. A whole ladder? It seems quite big. You barely notice you're holding it, I promise. <laughs> 
If you say so, thanks. I thought they're going to give me like writing supplies. Yeah. Also, uh, suspicious on the wall. I don't trust him. Bonnie, afternoon detective. What can I get for ya? Oh, no, for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, about the hex. I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County with a hat. I mean, until now. Pretty suspicious, suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up into my stew. Haha! <laughs> Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet. Oh. Everyone get your hats too, haha! <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. Oh, that's a nice nickname. I'm literally joking. Bahaha, bahaha. They just called me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned you don't wear a hat. Why not? But what's that thing on your head? My head is a weird shape. Ah. Ahaha, <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, <laughs> mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. <laughs> Is it okay if we talk normally? Yes, but it's it was a, just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here is to run the saloon. And I'm also a keen historian of Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take my role very seriously. For example, did you know the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Haha, <laughs> gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard. Yes, is what I said. I have tons of stories and, and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I will. Thanks. LOL, I just got the gravely thing. <laughs> can I ask you some questions about this case? Ghost photos. Do you know uh, much about the photos here in the saloon? Ha ha! Legend has it they are haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and tell. And I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Ask you some questions. Hat stew. What? You didn't actually make a hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew though. It's the only thing I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're around. But I think they got scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's verse. Artists. Artists? Created types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but, no. You're right. It's just changes the vibe. They hang around all day, creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop making 
get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is... Stew? Hat stew. I am joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them in with the stew. Keep them here with the party atmosphere. That sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Oh, around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. It sounds like a good deal. Hey, some questions about the case. All right, bye. I already know where one of them is. When I was running around with the scooter. Carrots money. Motive? A practical joker, perhaps. Uh, needs? Carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking! Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen Cowboy County historian. Hates creativity. <laughs> so. Aw. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Eh, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in the Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I expect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. This one is super spooky. Surely it has a uh, it has a ghost. To, wait, surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It only fits the description I'm looking for. Wait, it's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yes, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Oh, Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Ha! I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put the banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff, loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. Is this a ghost? Ooh, Mark? <laughs> no, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. L O L. That's my ex husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? This seemed like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not really my ex husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. 
Take my word for it though. That's not haunted. That's not the haunted photo. That has nice energy. Okay. So. Are any of them haunted? Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. That's such a strange energy to it. Yeah. I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who has lived... Wait, a man who has lived a thousand lives. There is a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might be... I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'm glad to be rid of it. Haunted photo. Love it. So I can give this to the guy. Let's go talk to the general store and get some carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have the money? Sure do. Plenty of it. Okay. No need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. So now, let's go get the... the flowers. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Huh? Huh? Yonk. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. That's what the gloves are for. Got it. Yaha! Woo! Here's one. Got a flower. Let's see, here's a sloth. Talk to him in a second. I don't think this this one counts. No. Yeah! Love. Let's see. I need to get up there. There we go. Sick. There's three. Spooky well. Hey, this ladder fits. Oh, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Hmm. Well, use this ladder perfect for climbing down. I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. <laughs> All right. Gonna find one more 
Uh, cactus flower. Oh, there's one. Yonk. That should be enough flowers. Hey, Mark. <clears throat> Here you go. Ghost pick. So, I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Uh, oh really? How, what, what voice did I give him? I already forgot. Oh really? How you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one... Uh, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? Uh, no, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have a reason for having it in the first place. Do people give you stuff? Wait, do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. It's one more, uh, one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. So that's done. So now... Let's go for the carrots and the flowers. Hey, some questions about this case. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for you, uh, for your stew. You're the best, detective. How did you ever manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. And then flowers. I've just been uh, flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you'd told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Haha, <laughs> did you? <laughs> That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew. Like, second-hand gloves? First and second-hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I give uh, this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. I still have to go talk to the guy upstairs, talk to the sloth, and talk to Lobster Cop. Looks delicious. Cute little boots.
Dusty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine right or wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think about a lot of things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine right, uh, wrong, wrong and right? Ha <laughs> ha. You don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I am no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Mm, okay. Ahem. The cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune. Say yee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. Their smiles shine brighter. When waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too. Yeah, I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down. Not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's great. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I want to write a new one. I've asked you some questions. Go ahead. Need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know. Totally. I'll show you what I have so far and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, Near, near the tracks. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead to his shock, There was Nessie from the lock. There was Nessie from the lock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead to his shock, there was Nessie from the lock. <coughs> Waddled over, concerted face, only to discover. Um... The thing had gone without a trace. Oh, plot twist, okay. Waddled over concerted face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. Cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed. Cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! Oh, it's perfect, the perfect cowboy poem. 
I can't wait to recite it in front of the crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. Wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I can feel confident enough to become one myself. <laughs> I wish the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of my old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Cute. Dusty. <clears throat> Motive. Want to absorb cowboy powers through the through cowboy hat osmosis. Just need someone to talk to, I think. Cute. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Uh, long as I live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Thanks, buddy. Whee! Let's give them the writing supplies. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how'd you get those so quickly? I helped compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. But thanks for getting the writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Ronda Dynamite. Let's get a fake ID. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I think I gave Susie and the mouse the same kind of voice. I was wondering if you'd help me out. Sure. Anything for my, for my friend, the detective? Amazing. I needed a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Oh. <laughs> Just printing it out. All right. All done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Forged ID. Sick. So, let's go turn this in. Or, let's go talk to uh, this guy up here first. Looks like you need a pickaxe. Or some stew. Sherman. Uh. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper. Your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ha <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authorities and I always don't see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like you could like steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. Missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hat's right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh. <laughs> Hmm, well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about this new sheriff coming into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Ronda Dynamite, was working up the courage to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't ha get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He barely says two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in, but I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Why are you suspicious, suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. I, you know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. Did I just get a little, a little sloth boyfriend? <coughs> anyway, I don't, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. You even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you? Nope. Figures. You might have some questions. The mine. Any reason you're hanging around by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. Oh, yeah. The king. The guy who wore the crown in the first game. He, had a, he made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before. But yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it uh, doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding, with, exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better. Yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. Okay, let's trade. So I use the key to get... Okay, so I go back, get the map, open the gate to the cemetery, dig up where the hats are. Mitchie, you want a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one right here if you're willing to trade for the shovel. Oh, I love that. Thanks. I also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Am I about to get lucky with this sloth? Maybe after I solve the case. Okay. Sherman is so forward. Motive. I don't know. Found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. Oh, Cute. Uh, let's go give... 
Susie. Actually, let's talk to Lobster Cop. So, you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. Nope. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. Hmm. <coughs> I have to stop doing that voice. That's shredding my vocal cords. Oh, a shovel. Hmm. I think you could be right, detective. A key that leads us to a clue. That sure looks like a clue to me. Or a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh. Oh, so I don't have anything after- I'll have everything after all. You're right on track, I suppose. But, if we want to solve the mystery, you must bring me everything I asked for. I'll get right on it. Alright. Let's back to Susie. ID. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this, uh, but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules! It looks so realistic! I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, Detective! I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you- Wait. Everyone I know about how you helped me! Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye! The detective helped me break into a bank! No, no. They should call you the burglar. I don't want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Cute. So now we can- Go turn everything in. I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks to the map. It'll I think it'll be a big help. That's behind the church. Sick. What if I can just go back there? No? Okay. Whee! I love this scooter. It's so cute. The key fits in here just fine. But I'll wait for I'll wait till Lobster Cop gives me the, the okay to open it. Alright. So you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. Tool capable of criminal activity. Hmm, a shovel, hmm. Oh. I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. Sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? Yeah, the meal. Oh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Oh, I want to see him eat it. Well, here goes nothing. I can't open that. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive for this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. 
I'll dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Great, I found the hats. What was that, like, clicking sound? I'm sure everyone would be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Sick. Oh, everybody's gathered up. Look at my little man. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. Dusty. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> the voice I gave him. Hello, I just want to read my poem. Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> this is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. Just ahead, to his shock, there was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concerted face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Brava. Brilliant. I love it. Yeah. Cute. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business, crime solved. <gasps> Gotta adjust how I'm sitting. I am pleased to announce that I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of the crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator Frog Detective. Wait, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties a detective to the crime. What evidence? This. That's what the, the click was. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird shape, or weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mole because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. 
What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less than an idea. More of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. <coughs> we put Frog Detective in a bad room for punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh. Well, in that case... Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. It was obviously the mole, but why why is he fucking with me? That first little brang remind me of the Bojack Horseman intro. Back in the 90s, I was the, the in a famous TV show. I've got the words. Oh no! Just want to go home to Slippery Pond Where the air is fresh and life goes on Wait, I've been wait, 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 wait For far too long We go to jail? So here I go just Frog Detective as the burglar. Come on. Mary is young Frog Detective and young supervisor. Good job, Mary. Would you let me if I was a worm club? The lyrics. Special thanks to the Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. So they were in on it together, weren't they? Special apologies to Frog Detective fans, Optimus, Cowboy County residents, Sherman. Oh, Sherman! Kylie Minogue. I feel, I feel like she'd be upset. Friends and family. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. Like, I, the cute, the song is really cute. I'm like, is Frog Detective really going to spend a year in the bad room? <laughs> Slay. <laughs> At least they gave me a laptop. Frogdetective.net forward slash blog. 
to my loyal frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. <laughs> but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I'm involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did it on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though, I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much time or much to write about here. Thank you for reading Frog Detective X. Uh, this is terrible. I can't believe this. What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. I was so excited to see how detective, uh, how the detective would solve the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um... Get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. They're the, just so you know, they're the first characters, or characters from the first game. Mo, I have to help the detective. I can do that. I'll have to solve the mystery myself. the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Cute. A little bit later. So, like, is everybody that I've helped gonna come back and help me? Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course! How could I forget? It's good to see you! Likewise, I really... Or I realize this is a highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? In the Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Ah, uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there's a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. 
detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole! That name sounds familiar! Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we... Wait, was he there? Back when we were there too. Invest... Wait, back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on Frog Blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey! I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around a frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest! So Lobster Cop is in on this, right? He didn't want me surpassing him? Hmm... I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. He's not in that picture. So let's see if he's like hiding in this picture anywhere. But I don't see him. Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll spread this powder around and make uh, take another look for clues. Cute. <laughs> okay, let me do that. Uh, let's fill all these in. I'm not trying to. Okay, let's fill them in, 100%. Let's be sure. Huh? It couldn't be. Look at Lobster Cop be hiding. It's a copy of my notebook. A copy of the detective's notebook. <gasps> Lobster Cop in Mason Mole. A note. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you have asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, that the frog detective was on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. I knew it. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So, I take the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how detective wor how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time for you to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean, and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. 
This cannot be true. Lobster cop, number one best detective, a fraud. I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. This has been a terrible misjustice. I knew it. Look at those big shorts he has. <laughs> Can't go in there. Yeah, like all the shops are closed. Howdy, folks. Uh, what brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf. Wait, this is our turf, so you better have a good reason. You don't want any trouble. We're here about a good friend. The frog detective. Ah, wait. <clears throat> uh, uh, I forgot his voice again. Whatever. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of our hats? A frog so pretty and alluring. Wait, no. <clears throat> a frog so. Pr what was. God, I keep forgetting the voices. Uh, frog so pretty and alluring. And yet. I really trust a frog detective, not snake. I can't, I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Are you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws to, it makes, wait. When there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. The frog detective is innocent. Sure, we all saw the photo. The furrow brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken, Mystery Monkey. Wait, no, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing. Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much of a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. Uh, switching back between the voices is so hard because I keep forgetting which ones are which. Uh. What? Nope. Huh? What? It's so messed up. Nope. It's so... Nope. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you would point us in the direction of where a frog detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has detective locked up in bad room at the back of the sheriff's office. If you're quiet, if you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without any trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. <laughs> Let's go around back. You know, there's like multiple characters talking to each other and not just Frog Detective and one other person. It's really hard to like, remember which voice is which. <laughs> Looks like he's tuckered out after another day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy! Mystery Monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know it's allowed visitors in Bad Room, or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed! I knew it! Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you, but I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. 
Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to it's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I've called the town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case, but it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. And thank you for town, or thank you town for meeting us here on such short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> huh? What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. <laughs> As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called to help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island, at the time, I could confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of irrelevant, or kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... <laughs> this is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. A frog detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was so embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, and we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down, and I had to—I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help and or swallowing my pride, I let jealous or let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you find the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had resources to dig up the hats, 
and lobster cop had a clear alibi. I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was lobster, lobster cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew the evil eyebrows <laughs> on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. That was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there's need to, I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in many ways that I can't even begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you have enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand him my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. <laughs> Kind of giving away their English. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have no idea what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh, I have no idea what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole. Do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I sincerely apologize for what I did to you, detective. I w it was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great Posty and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a posty, and please rest assured that you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Cute. Say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster, Lobster Copper is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... It's gonna be Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey! Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. Oh, I can't believe it, thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move to my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there you can keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Bunny, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Uh, can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty? Posty Mason Mole? Yeah. You're invited too. They're being too nice. <laughs> They're being too sweet. Hell yeah!
Adorable. Damn, Grace. <laughs> Design the bad bits. Design the good bits by Thomas. This is so cute. I, I loved this series. I made you and I can destroy you, <laughs> Grace. <laughs> Very, very cute. Yeah, this was a huge change of pace to The Walking Dead. Like, I needed something to lift my spirits after playing that series. after credits. They said this is the series finale, so I don't think there's going to be another case. Two weeks later. Cute. I want to go see Mystery Monkey. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I can't crack. But you're the number one best detective. I know. This one is a doozy. Can you help me out? Of course. I'll be right there. Aw. <gasps> oh, he pasted his, his picture over all of Lobster Cop. Cute. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, detective. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Fog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog detective one. Frog detective two. No, frog detective three? <laughs> How do you feel knowing there's 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information in the, uh, is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. This is going to be a surprise birthday party. <laughs> you fucked, Lobster Cop. <gasps> it is! Surprise! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Uh, I forgot what his voice was. Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Oh, uh, yes, our town has never been so peaceful. All thanks to you. Uh, same with, uh, same with my island. I never heard of Ghost in Ages. I can't remember his voice. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked. Uh. Uh. That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. She's going any minute now. I ordered it on Wizbay. Larry Posty. Cute. Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Open it up. Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? It's a... Wait. <clears throat> it's a... Nope. 
It's a det nope. That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Oh! Cute. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. We love making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Cute mystery monkey in the mouse. I think Mo was her name. Can't remember. Our latest toast science discovery jam. Aww. Oh, our latest toast, uh, toast science discovery jam. Love Mo and Mystery Monkey. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. Cute. Celebrating Craig, Craig's acceptance in the Ghost Spotters League. Cute. See you soon, love Bonnie. Wait, no, wrong one. Finally got a sponsorship. Deal with Dr. Tight Smiles. 101 tooth whitening, cool pace for teeth. XO, fresh X. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. Oh, <laughs> I went on a date. Thanks for a date. I had so much fun. Cute. This is adorable. So handy having a muse right next uh, door to the t to the saloon. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading, Bernie. I'm sheriff now. Didn't you have to beat anyone up? <laughs> I think Vince Carlos to take a holiday. We are not the same guy. First day of cowboy school. Play the month at the post office. <gasps> he got his magnet to hold onto a boat. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. So many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. There's the the sloth king from the first game and the bird that we found. We formed together at the latest dance contest. We came in third. There's Mary. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later. I broke my leg. <laughs> I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. I gotta be pruny. Well, I met my hero, Lobster. Uh, I mean, Lobster Posty. Cute. I love this little series. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I know this isn't the usual thing that I do, but every so often I gotta do something different. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the Frog Detective series. What a cute, sweet little game. I wonder what they're up to now. <laughs> what uh, this dev team is doing. Anything else? All right, that's it. <sighs> yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you have a recommendation for a series or a game I should cover, please let me know in the comments. Um, leave a like, it really helps. And uh, more stuff is going up on Patreon this week. I'm finally doing The Walking Dead Michonne. Um, there's three episodes, four episodes, I think three of that. So that's going up this week on Patreon. You can get that down in the description for as low as $1 a month. Uh, there's also some other exclusive stuff on there as well. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.